We've memed a trillion dollar currency into existence. We've memed it. It's just human narrative. But guess what? So's gold. So is everything that we do, including religion. Everything is a meme. This is multimillionaire Raoul Paul. A lot of fundamental guys, they respect him, they follow him. He's talking about Bitcoin. And I'm talking about this since day one on my channel. Am I in the shape of reality? Why it's so easy? Why the reality that I vividly imagined in my mind is becoming the reality of all of you? So interesting, right? Some things about Sui. Let's actually check out when I started to talk about Sui in the first place. Two months ago, my first video about Sui. And therefore, it actually means that it's very, very easy to pump. I can definitely tell you, like right away, that through all this time, the market maker on this thing was buying out all these tokens. Why do I think that this token has the market maker? Just because of the fact that I know it through the community and through the discussions that I had. I specifically know market makers that know the market maker on Sui. And they specifically know what type of contract is actually signed with Sui team and with the company of Sui with the market maker based it's very important focus therefore based on this information market maker has to push the price of the token before the May of this year before the unlocks and he will still need to have time to take profits on this token as well to redistribute the tokens that he has at this stage because he basically has most of the tokens currently in terms of the things that are happening on the market therefore the thesis that I have is that currently the market maker is based basically going to push the price in the upcoming two to three months and then have two to three months till May in terms of redistributing his tokens and basically selling them on the market as well. This thing should surge like crazy two dollars very very soon just because of the fact to make it a rocket where no one would actually be able to get in so i actually entered a ten thousand dollars long position at the level of 1.22 and i believe i actually mentioned it before several times already here is the video about stacks as well like stacks did like what 2x 2.5x from that times it's very very interesting and probably in the coming couple of weeks you would have all the channels, all the Twitter guys speaking about Sui at the top because this is what they do as media channels, right? And then media people because they have to speak about things that are pumping because audience want to hear about these things. But this is not how you make money in crypto. You are free to listen about Sui and the ecosystem on other channels. I talk about things before they pump because this is the only way to actually make money on this market. I was also talking about Citus in that video two months ago. Um, you have Citus, which is essentially the main DEX on Sui in terms of the platform, in terms of the things that are happening. And recently I was also providing a call on FUD the pack, which is a blue chip meme coin on Sui, which is up like 50% somewhere around that. Not that large for a meme coin, if you would ask. But speaking about Sui, I will give you another call. We will be seeing Sui at $15 a coin this cycle. It's a pure pump and dump VC token, exactly as Solana was and is in last cycle and this cycle as well. And whilst most of the channels will be talking about things when they are at the top, when there is zero upside for you to actually get into them short term, right? When you're mostly being used as exit liquidity. <laughs> People are still watching these videos. 100 key views, 150 key views. My video about Andy, 600 views. So, so crazy. Well, more upside for me, the more people on the market would understand the thesis, the more they would essentially be getting into this thing and the bet is going to be for me long term, right? I'm not here for short term. I'm not dumping on your heads, guys. I did not sell anything from my Andy, from my Blast. And some people are saying that, oh, Stan, I liked the content previously. Stan, you're just behaving exactly the same as all the previous influencers. You just called Andy in your private Discord and, and then you're just using all of us as, as exit liquidity, right? You're so, like, you changed. You're using your referral links and things like that. And so bad, right? My Twitter here, you see, Stan Crypto, right? 13th of March, reposted, study. Pepe through Brad Base, Wolf Avalanche, Andy on Blast. 13th of March. Let's actually scroll down. I think I have opened it here, right? 
13th of March. ND was seven times lower than it is currently. And we actually were on a deeper correction after that. So we saw 2 million market cap right after this repost. What type of behavior of other influencers are you actually talking about? I gave you the call multiple times. I was speaking about it on Crypto Banter Show. I mentioned it in my private Discord as well. I'm not dumping on you. I do understand that this is a long-term, very, very blue chip token. I do understand that most likely it's not going to go anywhere. I'm here for long term. I don't buy Solana shitcoins pushing you to buy into them to dump my 2x or 3x on you right away. This is not something I'm doing on this channel. I'm exposing you to the long term opportunity, sharing and explaining the thesis that most of the market does not understand at this stage. Imagine what type of alpha you're actually exposed to. And you're still ungrateful. Getting all this information for free. Some of you, obviously. And usually, amount of negative people is also quite low. And I know one thing as well. That someone that's doing better than you, he would never say something negative to you. I appreciate all of your comments, guys. I appreciate the supporters. We're moving forward with the channel. We are moving forward, projecting this industry, making money and seeing things for what they are. And following my thesis that I mentioned previously, on this channel, you would probably not hear me speaking about things at the tops, using you as exit liquidity. Unfortunately, because of this fact, most likely we would never be seeing 100,000 views on this channel because public wants to hear about something that is hyping right now with very, very limited upside at this stage, right? I would want to talk about gaming one more time. I've been calling gaming for two months already, I think. I just have a feeling that we are very, very close. I think we entered, I think we actually might have just entered wave three of this market. For those of you who are not very familiar with Elio wave theory, it's a guy, he created this theory a long, long time ago. And it pretty much states that assets in the bull market, they're usually moving in five different waves. First, we have wave one, then we have wave two, which is a correction plus consolidation, then we have wave 3, then we have wave 4, which is a correction, then we have wave 5, and usually after wave 5, we are going down into the bear market in ABC formation right here. I do believe that currently we might be somewhere here, entering our wave 3. We definitely see certain change in terms of the narratives, because upside on some things is quite limited already. At the same time, we have to be careful, we have to be focused on the things that were pumping during wave one of this market already. There is a high chance that these things, they would also be repeating wave three, as essentially all the assets are moving in this way as well. That's why I was actually sharing my thesis on Pepe a while back as well, because we have to understand, was this wave one, right? Or is this a wave one? Because it might be very, very interesting. Your results in the marketplace, they might be very, very different. Because if we're seeing wave three right here already, that would mean that we only have one correction and one leg up. However, if it's still a wave one, because this thing started in the bear market, right? We would be treating this as wave one. Therefore, we have a correction. Then we would be seeing wave three. And then we would be seeing even larger wave five as well. It's very, very interesting to actually understand and try to figure out was this wave one or this is the wave one of Pepe. And there are some very, very bullish news and very, very bullish things happening around Pepe that I also actually wanted to share with you because most of my meme strategy is surrounded around Pepe, is surrounded around this asset doing well. I pretty much have most of my eggs in one basket. Very, very interesting situation. But I do believe that diversification in crypto is a scam. Diversification is a strategy to protect the capital. I doubt that most of us are coming into the market to protect the capital. We are coming into this market, especially this early in the cycle, to make money in the first place. And diversification doesn't help to make money from my point of view. These are reports from the tool that is sharing updates about whales actions in connection to certain coins. Whale withdrew Pepe in mass for the first time. Whale just withdrew 4 million worth of Pepe from KuCoin 
for the first time. Might be nothing because recently had fought about KuCoin and people are just withdrawing the assets from KuCoin, right? Smart Trader switched positions from SHIB to Pepe and Ethereum. Smart Trader Pepe and Floki just switched 1.12 million of Shiba to Pepe and took some profits as well. Very, very interesting because this is something we've seen last cycle when Dogecoin early, Dogecoin whales, they were switching into Shiba Inu at a certain stage of the market because they wanted to have higher upside and because they wanted to multiply the funds that they actually made with Pepe. I think this is something that is actually happening quite often currently. I think larger whales from these larger tokens, they're actually switching to the memes of the new cycle because they do understand the market at this stage as well. They do understand that shiny objects are often outperforming the tokens from the previous cycles. Whales started the third Pepe trade. Whales spent 3.67 million to buy 3.86 million of Pepe. Happened a week ago. Whale further withdrew Pepe from Binance. Well, when whales are withdrawing Pepe from exchanges, that means that most likely they are not planning to sell them. Although it's definitely not a 100% thing. It's also very, very interesting that during the recent correction, all the funding, all the leverage positions, they pretty much cooled off, except longs for Pepe. Pepe is still the most longed asset. On the market and dogecoin i think at this stage is number two and following funding data and the current one we start seeing the market actually entering loans on crypto assets we have a lot of people projecting that total three which is the chart of the altcoins should catch up to all-time high exactly as bitcoin did something i was telling you about about a month ago when we were at the correction where i was screaming hold to your assets buy more because total three has to catch up to BTC. It was even before Bitcoin actually caught up to its all-time highs. Because I was saying that Bitcoin should catch up to S&P 500 all-time highs. And total three, which are all the altcoins except Ethereum, they also should be repeating the move of Bitcoin. Right now, we are in the situation where BTC already caught up to all-time highs to S&P 500. But as a risk asset, it should be outperforming. SAP 500 and stock and stock market in general and we are waiting for this altcoin move to happen as well and that's why a lot of people on the market are saying that we should be entering certain alts and we should be seeing this that I was telling you about around one month ago right here is my sui loan last twenty five thousand dollars at this stage it was plus thirty thousand yesterday and I have similar loan opened on other account that you can see on the screenshot right now as well as mentioned i do believe we might be seeing sui at 15 bucks a coin this cycle i would just be holding these loans what is the reason for me to actually close them i had this thought to actually close them and to reposition in do i do x and things like that but then i thought i have a winning ecosystem it did 5x from the lows i know some insights about this ecosystem i've seen 400 million dollars invested why I would be repositioning into something that at the lows, into something that did not show any movement, into something that underperforms Bitcoin, into something that have VCs dumping their bags on a daily basis from a winning asset it does not make sense. I'm trying to be smart on this marketplace and staying with my winners because the hardest thing to do at this stage of the market is actually to stay with your winners because if something won already, it will win. Moving forward as well, exactly the same as Blast founder won with Blur taking 80% of the market share, he would be winning with Blast as well. He just statistically have higher chance of winning. Speaking of gaming at this stage, we can see that in the last months Gamify is up around 33%. It definitely even underperforms BTC, might be underperforming BTC at this stage, right? And on a weekly we see that Gamify is only up 3%. I'm talking about this thing for so much time. I believe at this stage, we are so, so close to the pump of this thing moving forward. We see some things waking up. 50% on Yield, Guild Games, on Sidus, Wilder World, GMT, which is stepping on Solana, right? Gaming. I was actually telling you to buy gaming NFTs as well. By the way, if you bought Ethereum gaming NFTs, don't worry, we are, we are having a cliff 
of one month since the launch and we will be receiving our allocations of tokens on a daily basis after that because I was also curious on this and I actually clarified with the support. But I believe not a lot of us are actually interested in some gaming projects from the previous cycle, right? I think that most of us, we are sitting in low caps gaming tokens, maybe connected to some ecosystems that should be doing well, and we are waiting for them to pump. We are waiting for our gaming bull run, gaming all season, exactly the one that we saw at the start, end of October, start of November of 2023. It's crazy to think, it's crazy to think that half a year already passed since that time. So, so crazy. It's very interesting to see that Gala actually flipped BIM because everyone was saying that Gala is dead. I think I was saying this as well. Everyone was saying that they're a bunch of fat, that founders, they actually bought private jet with the money of their holders, right? And we saw it was not doing very, very well in October. We had huge pump. For most of the gaming and Gala just showed 3x. Well, still pretty nice because most of the foundational tokens they even did not show something like that. Since then we are as high as 6x for Gala. Very very interesting. Talking of the previous cycle it was so crazy last cycle with the notes and with the all the things that were happening and then founders started to sue each other, started to actually buy private jets with the funds of the company. Let's see what's actually going to happen with this. One of the gems that you actually might focus on is Gala Music. Because not a lot of people still know about this platform, but they pretty much are using the same branding. One of the largest gaming ecosystems of the previous cycle. Still at 16 million market cap, although I think that the data on coin market cap is not right. And it's also very, very interesting that they do have real utility at this stage, because artists are actually publishing their songs on the platform. They can be listened, you can buy them as NFTs, you can hold a token. So it's a very, very interesting piece of utility on this project as well. And, and they might be piggybacking the success of Gala as well. So this might be a leverage play on Gala in the first place. For some reason, I have a feeling this thing might be doing quite well, although I'm not invested myself. We have Immutable X as largest layer 2 right now. It's even larger than Arbitrum, which is so, so crazy, right? Crazy team, Americans, bunch of games are going to be onboarded, zero fees for Ethereum transactions. I remember testing it out at the end of the previous cycle. I was buying NFTs there. Very great vision of the future. Beam Ethereum project has its own subnets because it's based on AVEX. They have their own Beam subnet as well. Quite a few products are also being built there. Should be doing quite well this cycle. Tokens of previous cycles like X Infinity, Sandbox, Decentraland. Well, we definitely see the narrative of metaverses waking up a bit because I think we have seen a recent surge in Sandbox from October. Yeah, we pretty much did a 3x at this stage. It's very, very interesting how they are repeating the patterns, right? Because if we check out monthly here, we see this pattern and we see this pattern as well. From why, from one point of view, it's interesting. From other, it's not that interesting because they're pretty much repeating the price action of Bitcoin. And if your altcoin is not showing outlier price action, which means that it actually moves exactly like Bitcoin, it does not hold when Bitcoin is strong and things like that, it's probably not the best altcoin. Best altcoins are the ones that are actually showing outlier price actions when market is dumping, for example with them staying strong, which means that people are not selling, which means that more people are buying, which usually signifies a higher conviction into the token as well. We have ApeCoin that I'm longing from like January and I will still continue to long this thing because the thesis here is very, very easy. It's similar to Sui. People pretty much invested half a billion dollars into this thing, right? We were as high as 2.6 bucks at this stage and I do think it will be picking up just because of the fact so much money were invested, they have connections to Yuga Labs, they've built something successful in the industry, right? They were not able to sustain through the bear market very, very well, but I do believe that they should be continuing moving forward as well. GMT is a very, very interesting thing because there were some on-chain insights about some whales actually accumulating this thing. And it was very, very interesting to see the surge up with probably first insights appearing essentially and just recently we had this pump pretty much just today and right now we are slightly correcting after this pump 
some people are saying that this thing should be going to one dollar. It definitely have an interesting bullish narrative on this work to earn on Solana. Solana is crushing it and this thing was doing very very well when Solana was consolidating and going down in the last cycle. Therefore, with the pump on Solana, this thing might also be doing well because they would be seeing that their ecosystem probably is not dead at this stage. Therefore, they should actually continue to do something, right? Superverse influencer token like it very, very much. They should be talking about it moving through the cycle as well. They have pretty nice people in the team, crazy people in terms of their most of the influencers are actually holding this token. <laughs> it's quite interesting that the more I check out this page, the more I see that fully diluted is becoming larger because I think only three months ago, some people were saying that super is so great because current market cap is exactly the same as fully diluted. Right now, there is already a difference in two times. The reasoning for that might be that they actually fundraised, so they got an injection of money and they pretty much provided a certain amount of tokens in exchange for that. But it's still bullish because if things like this are happening, that means that there is someone interested on the VC side, on big money side, in this project to be a success. And he's looking to capitalize on, the, on these things. And the fact that the team fundraised from these type of sources usually means that they essentially would have more capital to acquire large market share, to do very, very well. However, at this stage, it's already quite pumped. It's zero point. I was looking at this coin at 0 0.3, but one of the issues in bull market that you actually might be doing is that you'd be waiting for corrections. You would not be buying and they would just, these tokens, they would just be flying out, flying away from you. Actually, this is one of the great, great mistakes that I was doing at the start with all these gaming tokens. I was constantly waiting for a correction. And yes, you can say we had a correction from 0 0.7 to 0 0.5, right? But that's probably not a correction that you're looking. And if the project is good, it will not be providing you with large corrections as well because every person in the marketplace, we're still in PvP scenario. Most of the market is very, very smart at this stage. Everyone would understand the potential. Everyone would understand that this thing is supported by influencers. They have money, they have teams, they're partnering up with large projects, large games. They won't be actually giving you large corrections because they would just be buying themselves, right? Although at the same time, 600 million market cap with 1.3 fully diluted this must be one of the best risk rewards play at this stage in comparison to things like beam in comparison to things like imax it might be it with the support of the influencers and we definitely have mind share of super in gaming at quite high level and we definitely have a certain portion of hate which kind of stops some people from buying which means that there is an upside in this thing right echelon prime i was talking about this token on the channel at around six bucks even four bucks most likely right and the reason i like this token is the fact that it has the combination of gaming and ai in the first place and you can check out how fully diluted is 2.6 so it's four times larger than fully diluted in comparison on super right i like this coin because it's the combination of two narratives it's the combination of gaming and ai i was talking about it two or three months ago, I wanted to acquire 50k worth of this token as well. Unfortunately, I did not do that. But being positioned in two largest retail meme narratives, which are gaming and AI, it should be doing quite well. And I'm specifically calling them memes because you probably know my view on this as well. Pixel, something I'm longing as well. I think I'm up $30,000 on my Pixel loan already, including the fact that I was taking profits. Great project from this cycle as well small amount of circulating supply at this stage which kind of hints to us that it's very very easy to pump only 50 percent of tokens in circulating supply you have to be careful with vesting schedule but i don't even check out vesting schedule for these things at this stage much because i don't understand they have a working product is the new project i don't understand that they only have 50 percent of circulating supply i don't understand that fully diluted is seven times larger than the current market cap. They will definitely be using the opportunity of the bull market. They will definitely be using this opportunity to pump this thing higher so they would actually be able to take more profits on their unlocked tokens that they would be receiving. VCs, investors, early investors would be receiving over time of this market as well. And it's a new shiny object with something that you already can actually play with. Because things like super, 
I don't think you can do much with Super at this stage. Illuvium, project of previous cycle, meme coin, with all this information that we will be launching the game and things like that. I'm not even sure. I think the game is launched at that stage, right? But there are still these memes that Illuvium not launched or launched. <laughs> I don't know. One of the interesting things is that it's actually very, very easy to get fooled by the fact that it was two, almost $2,000 at the highs of the previous cycle, right? It, we should definitely be going to $2,000. That's like 10, 15 access from here. That's why I should be buying Illuvium tokens, right? Checking out the market cap. We can already see that we are already only two times lower than the highs of the previous market cap. The highs were at one point. 2 billion, let's say, right now we are already at 600 million at the current stage. Therefore, your upside to actually reach all-time high of the previous cycle is only 2x from here. And this is definitely a token of the previous cycle, which has a bunch of holders that would be looking to sell as soon as they would break even. Yield Guild Games, I actually like the idea of guilding games. So. The whole idea is that they are, they are pretty much farming play to earn games. They have a bunch of NFTs and they have a bunch of gamers you can apply into a guild, right? And if you essentially accept it, they will give you NFTs and they will give you guidelines to farm funds in certain games. For example, we have something like Big Time. Big Time is being farmed hardly currently. Like in Asia, you have companies that are farming Big Time. And some of these companies, they're actually guild games. And the thing I do like this type of structures is because it's the attempt to create a proper business in these Ponzi's, right? Because most of these play to earns their Ponzi's. They need to have real life income in order to actually be able to sustain. And in order to be able to sustain, they need to transfer the real time income into the tokenomics of the process, into the tokenomics of the game, into the economy of the game, right? Most of them, they were not doing that last cycle. Let's see what they would essentially be doing with that this cycle as well, because a lot of them, they would be pumping hard once you would be at our blow off top wave five of crypto gaming, but they will be dumping very, very hard after that. Last cycle, there were crazy stories. Like I, I knew guys that were putting the whole family in play to earn games and each of them they were making like 8k in three days each of them so it's like 40 50k in three days crazy crazy amount of funds i also know a guy who made 5 million at the tops of the previous cycle on x infinity with like 275 bucks invested unfortunately he did not take profits at the hype so he was only able to get away with 1 million but these are the stories that you should actually learn from and what these stories might be telling you is that right now might be a very, very lucrative time to actually look at these games and try to figure out the ones that have this great potential on becoming next big Ponzi of this cycle. And if you would be positioning yourself early in this Ponzi, you would be able to make a bunch of money. 5 million from 275 bucks. Do you imagine what type of return is that? No one is actually was receiving this type of return anywhere. 18,000 times. And it's not even in percentages. To transfer it into percentages, you would have to multiply it by 100. 18,000 times return on his money. Just because of the fact that he positioned himself in winning Ponzi of the cycle. Well, you probably have to be lucky at the same time. But this is something very, very interesting to check out as well. Xai, which is layer 3 on Arbitrum, which I am mining. Wax is also a pretty interesting project from the previous cycle. Pretty much this whole chain, gaming chain, ecosystem. There were a bunch of people launching NFTs in Wax blockchain, in Wax chain, essentially previous cycle as well. CDFI probably will be pumping and doing well, although it's already quite high. It was like a genius move to actually buy into CDFI in the bear market. I wanted to, I was stopped. I was stopped because I didn't have enough conviction. Big time, the game that was developed by some people who are working on World of Warcraft. Nice project, great, but fully diluted is so, so high. At the same time, 
if Ponzi nomics are great, I, I do believe that big time might be doing something interesting this cycle in terms of actually people being able to earn money there. And we see that circulating supply is also very, very low at this stage. It's only 13.4. Therefore, it's very, very easy to pump the price up at this stage. This might be quite an interesting pick, although I do believe that the largest Ponzi of this cycle is not going to be PC game. It's not going to be PlayStation, Xbox game. It's going to be mobile game because Ponzi should be accessible because guys in Asia should be able to play this Ponzi freely, should be accessible for everyone in the world and they should be able to make more money than their parents are making on full-time jobs. Then it's going to be a real proper Ponzi in the first place. While the world metaverse project very nice in seven days 40% up. We definitely see some focus on the metaverse at this stage. Vulcan Forged studio from the previous cycle liked by influencers but man it was not moving much in the last cycle. I don't think it's going to move much in this cycle as well. Nakamoto actually like because of the focus on mobile games however it's down 25% on seven days. Oasis very very interesting gaming blockchain which not a lot of people actually talk about. This might be a hidden gem for this cycle. Heroes of Mavia, market cap only 177 million, very, very interesting. It's corrected to $6, but it definitely will have large unlocks. I think they're changing something in the Ponzinomics on this thing to actually allow the players to earn more money. And there are people who are grinding this game at this stage. They're creating clans. This is what you actually have to do with these games. You have to grind them in advance before they pump because the fact is that once they would be pumped it will be too expensive to actually grind them and some of these guys who are grinding these games at this stage they would be making a bank i even had this kind of idea to gather a bunch of school children and a bunch of students to just grind these games for me like 20 30 people i might actually discuss something like this as well because I definitely have access to cheap talent and it might be very, very interesting actually to do at this stage. But I think I think that your time is running out. I think that we should see these things pumping very, very soon. Therefore, it would be too expensive to grind them out. Therefore, fortunately, your train will move from the station already, right? Last but not least, I wanted to touch is gaming, which is a very, very interesting thing by itself. So I was telling you about this project several weeks ago. I've invested $11,000 into the NFTs on Ethereum to actually get exposure to the airdrops of this token in the first place. We see that the market cap is 157 million. It's not large because I saw some projections that it should be at 7.5 billion and things like that. And one of the reasons for that is because people are essentially selling their airdrops at this stage. But you can also see this as an opportunity because right now we're pretty much at the bottom. Bottom was 0 0.2, we are at 0 0.024, which is very, very nice. Interesting thing about this ecosystem is because it's kind of deep in, so you're actually capable to provide your GPU power. And in comparison to things like render, a cache, they actually have large amount of monthly active users. I think their monthly active users, they're at least like 25, 30 times larger than monthly active users on things like render on these giant bubbles, right? They do have partnership with Move language development, which should be doing quite well due to the search with SUI, due to the search with Aptos as well. So might be doing very well. And they're actually a proper business. They have their professional esports teams like gaming gladiators and things like that so so very very interested in this thing as well because they might have the question of exit liquidity solved as well just because of the fact that probably over time they will be onboarding more and more people into the product more and more gamers that are following them currently using their products following their teams that might actually get onboarded into this ecosystem eventually as well Speaking of our lower caps, I definitely like VPP, I definitely like Shrapnel on Avex, I definitely like Bull, Player Bull on Avex as well. I like Lead Labs. I like a bunch of them. I would say that at this stage, the core thing is to figure out outlier price action, figure out what type of catalyst this thing actually should have and do your own research and actually invest into this thing. I have very large position in Player Bull. I acquired it, I think, around a month ago. I'm, I'm just waiting for it to play out. I'm waiting for the gaming narrative to come back and AVEX to come back as well. I feel like recent correction 
was a necessary reset to actually divide different stages of the market. I feel like we might be at the start of the wave three. I feel like we might be very, very close to our long waited out season. I feel like gaming might be surging up quite soon. And just note, I'm talking about these things when not a lot of people are talking about them. And this is how usually making money in crypto, because even if you would need to wait two weeks, four weeks, one month, two months, you would still be positioning right now where no one is talking about these things. This is where the upside is. This is what you eventually need to do to actually make money in this market. And now let's gamble. We do have 224 eligible members. And I did not do a giveaway yesterday, so I would be doing six winners today. The first one is 155. The second one is 140. Right here. And the third one is 49, seven squared. 49 right here. The fourth one is 206 right here the fifth one is 69 nice second time winner very very nice last but not least 100 204 well thank you very much for watching this video and i wish you like and I wish you luck in all your endeavors. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.